In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up SSH with X11 forwarding enabled on a Mac. And the reason you would want to do this is to display remote windows locally on your local machine. So for example, if you're working with a headless operating system like Ubuntu server, then sometimes there's an application on there that can show a GUI, but because you're just connected to it via terminal, uh, there's no way for you to display that. But with X11 forwarding, through that protocol, you can have a, uh, a client listening on your local machine. And in this case, it's going to be X Quartz. And that program will go ahead and draw the remote window locally on your computer. So it's a lot more lightweight than putting a whole graphical user interface on your server. It's not the most elegant solution. It's, it's kind of choppy, sometimes slow. Uh, but it does get the job done. So let me show you what I mean here. What we're going to do first off is connect to our remote server, just like a normal SSH session. So SSH root at, and I'm going to grab my credentials over here for my Vulture VPS, and then my password right here, copy paste, and that'll log us in. So there's a program called gedit. It's a graphical text editor. So if you want to install that on your computer, you can do uh, your remote server, in Ubuntu, Ubuntu in this case, apt install um, gedit. I already have that, so there's nothing for me to install. And then if I want to edit a text file with that, I can type gedit test.txt, for example. Um, now, because I don't have any X11 forwarding enabled, uh, I get this error message saying cannot open display. So let's go ahead and set that up. The first thing we want to do is download X Quartz, which again is the application that's going to sit there and listen for the X11 request. So um, xquartz.org, go ahead and download this uh, official package. All right, and that has just finished downloading. This is uh, exclusively for Mac because of the DMG uh, extension. So let's go ahead and install that on our computer here. I'm gonna open up the Xquartz package, allow, continue, 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 agree, install, type in my password, install software, and we'll let that run through. All right, so the installation was successful. Let's close out of that. We can remove the installer to the trash. And now let's go ahead and set up an SSH session with X11 forwarding enabled. And the way we can do that is very simple. This was our command before. The only thing we're gonna to add to it is a dash capital X, okay? And when we do that, that should um, tell X Quartz that we are initiating an X11, X11 forwarded session for SSH, and we should see that open. So let's go ahead and execute that. Uh, type in our password. Let's get that back here. Copy, paste, hit enter. And after a little bit, you can see X Quartz has opened here. It's going to sit in the background and wait for a um, an X11 request. So let's try it again. Let's try to do gedit test.txt. And it'll take a little bit. Like I said, it's not the smoothest thing but eventually a window will appear and that window will be gedit. So there it is. Um, this is a graphical user interface being served from our remote server. So let's use it as we normally would. Let's just say hello world. And again, it's very laggy. Um, and we'll say like, comment, subscribe. So you can probably hear my keystrokes, how they're not matching up exactly with what we're seeing, but it does get the job done. Uh, you can click and highlight and all that stuff. So um, you can use that as a normal text editor if you're not comfortable on the command line. So let's save that. That should save to the remote file system. So we'll get out of that and we'll do an LS. We can see that file is there. If we cat it, it should have the content that we typed in and it does. Now, there are a couple other um, applications or reasons that you wanna do this besides a text editor. Uh, one fun one is uh, the X11 apps package. So apt install X11 dash apps. Oops, too many L's, apps install X11 apps. And I already have that, uh, but one part of this package is X clock. So that'll just go ahead through the X11 uh, 
uh, protocol, open up an analog clock with the server time on your local machine. So this is much more lightweight and you can see uh, it's almost, where, I wonder where my, my server's probably, um, where is this, Los Angeles. So it says it's 11.51. Does that match up date? Yeah, it does. Oh, it's UTC's time. Okay. Um, and then the other one is uh, like a web browser. So Firefox, for example, apt install Firefox. And I don't have much luck with this, but I just want to make you aware that this is a thing that you can do. You can launch Firefox or another maybe lighter weight web browser from a headless terminal. And eventually this should draw here. You can see it. And this is Firefox web browser being served from our Ubuntu server. So this one, even more so, <coughs> excuse me, even more so than the text editor, this is gonna be super laggy. Uh, I can't even get a cursor in the address bar, but I'm sure if I wait here long enough, um, I would be able to do that. Uh, but we won't do that in this video. I hope you found it valuable. If you do wanna go the route of adding a whole entire GUI to your Ubuntu server, then I recommend that you check out this video. Otherwise, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one.